morning. I'm much more chilled good morning this morning than my usual because I don't want to talk about this too much but you know I've been saying that I've just been feeling very under the weather. It is just continuing. I actually have a horrible feeling that when we get to Christmas I am just going to fall down <laughs> and maybe not be okay. Like I think my immune system may pack in. I'm just gonna look for my lip balm by the way whilst I chat because the lips are so dry this morning. It's absolutely freezing. So of all my lip balm is going to be at the very bottom of this makeup bag. Oh yeah, of course, of course. It's small so it always makes its way to the bottom. Soho Skin lip balm. I actually got this when I stayed at Soho House with Alana. It's so nice. I don't know if they do a bigger size or this is like it because they always do you minis that you can take home in the room. Side note, if you ever stay there, take home the deodorant. So nice. I am feeling not so great. Some days I wake up and I feel okay and then some days I wake up and I can really feel it in my chest which is not normal for me because I'm not normally like a chest coldy type of person and I don't know if it's because um, I had COVID earlier in the year and it's now stuff is going to my chest but I do feel very like weak. I've got like the little throatiness and I just constantly feel like I'm on the cusp of getting sick which is almost worse than actually being sick. I'd rather just have a couple of days and like get out of the way but it's just not coming out so I'm kind of in this constant state of like not feeling my best which is not really ideal because I want to be my best for you guys but I'm that's the only time I'm gonna say it and I'm not gonna say it again this vlogmas because it's just getting boring like I'm bored I am bored of feeling this way so if I don't have the most energy today that's why I've actually been having multiple coffees a day at the moment to like <laughs> try and pep myself up but anyway today it is I don't even know what the day is anymore I think it might be Wednesday the countdown to Christmas is fully on I actually started penciling in my holiday last night which um I think most people probably do like quite far in advance um like you probably know when you're having Christmas off but I literally don't know until the week of Christmas how much holiday I'm going to get because it depends on how far ahead I get um but last night I kind of started to be able to pencil in when I finish for Christmas dare I say oh no don't do your foundation you haven't done your SPF damn I am actually god I'll never get through this sentence I'm actually starting to feel quite Christmassy. I had my annual movie and takeaway with Lauren last night. We watched a Christmas movie and got a takeaway. It's my favourite thing to do every Christmas. So that was really lovely. I think you will have seen like a maybe a tiny snippet of that in the last vlog. Damn, still need to end up. Don't let me forget to do that. But yeah, the countdown to Christmas is on. I think we're going to Christmas shop soon, which thank God because we are just we haven't done anything but yeah the christmas countdown feels like it's officially on i'm actually i'm getting really excited now which is nice it's a rarity because normally i am the grinch but yeah this christmas we are actually doing things quite differently um we're hosting a brunch for our parents which um i'm really excited about because we will get the evening just to ourselves which i think will be really lovely because i have just never really had the chance to do that and um, it's probably one of the last Christmases when we will be able to do that and like take advantage of it and one day there will be a day when I like being screamed at or having some small people just throw their toys and wrapping paper at me on Christmas morning and I'm gonna be like I've seen the VHS footage of my mum on Christmas day I'll see if I can actually insert some because my brother has all the footage that was my birthday gift by the way it was great he put all of our VHS's onto digital format for me so that um I can watch it back which actually wasn't as magical as I thought it was going to be because I was such an awkward child so it's kind of painful but anyway my mum at Christmas is like the ultimate vibe so one day my Christmases are probably going to look like that and um yeah I just thought it would be fun if we like had a Christmas like evening to ourselves and we can just kind of like chill and it'd be really peaceful because one day I'll be like reminiscing on this Christmas like being like I'm really glad I did that or I hope so anyway so we're doing a brunch which I think will be really lovely we need to sort um everything for that soon oh there we go oh I thought the Armani concealer had gone walkabouts so it was a very scary two minutes there but yeah don't worry guys we are still going to be having a roast just ah 
I know not uh just not in our house because obviously we don't have a dining table here yet which i um it's on my list for 2023 i just have a very specific vision for it and it's um slightly expensive so i have to save money but we're going to be having a christmas dinner on christmas eve um instead from ryan's mum which i think will be really lovely so yeah don't don't fret brits out there we're still going to be having a roast dinner so yeah i think we're gonna have a lovely christmas with our parents Christmas just is so different now because we don't have our nans around, um, which is like super sad. I like try not to dwell on it too much because I will I will cry. And my nan actually just doesn't, she has no idea who I am anymore. And it literally like breaks my heart. Um, like I cry about it at least once a week. Um, I actually blame my mum for this. She won't appreciate this. Um, but my mum gave me my baby bag. Um, a couple of months back, I think it was like October, maybe it was last October, I can't, I actually can't remember. No, it was like January, I think it was, because it was earlier this year. My mum gave me my baby bag and in it was so many cards that people had written me uh, when I was literally born uh, for me to like read now or read at the time or whatever. And it's the most magical thing. So I will be making everyone I know do that for my child. I think it's so magical. My hypothetical child, by the way. And my nan had written one and in it, it just says like, hello, sweetheart, like welcome to the world, blah, blah, blah. But the way she says, hello, sweetheart, like I can hear her. Cause that's what, how she'd greet me literally every time she saw me. She'd like scream it at you, like, hello, sweetheart. And um, yeah, it kills me. And I like hear her in my head. It was like the first time I really like remembered what she sounds like um and this happens every time i talk about it i actually thought i could hold it together for a video <laughs> that was silly just keep doing makeup just keep doing makeup so anyway this is really the first christmas that i felt like super super emotional about her not joining us and that coupled with like my brother not being here for christmas and his girlfriend not being here for christmas because they're literally moving a hundred miles away um i was like i really want to host christmas i i can't be at my mum and dad's and because their house is also full of moving boxes so they don't have a tree up i was like that i can't be in that environment where we've spent so many family Christmases together and been all together with like grandparents and siblings and the whole shebang. I can't go into that environment this year and have it be that empty. Like I actually think I'll just cry. So I fully campaigned to be hosting Christmas this year so that at least if the environment is different, the day then doesn't feel like people are missing so yeah that might sound a bit wild but that is why we are hosting christmas because i actually don't enjoy hosting i love being i love being a guest in people's houses it's like <laughs> tell me you were independent too young without telling me you were independent too young i love people doing things for me i'm an acts of service girly like the day i moved out and then i suddenly became a guest in my parents house i was like oh you get treated so differently when you're a guest i love it i don't have to fend for myself anymore <laughs> yeah i actually love being a guest in people's houses but i really couldn't handle like the the difference this year in the Christmas guest list. So that is why we are hosting Christmas. You know what, I've been doing YouTube for a decade and I don't think I've ever just outrightly cried on camera. I've talked about breakups and everything. <laughs> I have never, never cried on camera, but that is what that, um, that card from my grandma does to me. Like even just to, every time I think about it, I just burst into tears and I'm, actually, I'm gonna do it again. It's just wild it's just wild and if anyone has any advice on how to not cry every time i talk about my nan i would i would love to know because it's quite embarrassing really <laughs> honestly i don't know how i manage this i i watch youtube videos where people cry and i'm like i don't know how you're crying on camera like i like i just can't i could talk about the most dramatic or upsetting thing and i would never cry but this like i this was not Sorry, Ryan's cooking in the kitchen and he's setting beepy things off. Um, yeah, I never, I just always thought that I was like immune to crying on camera. I was like, I could be talking about the worst, most horrific thing in a YouTube video and I would never ever cry. <laughs> Here we are. And if anyone feels like this is slightly insincere because I'm laughing and crying, just know that like the worst could happen and I would still be trying to make jokes because I do it so that other people feel comfortable with the fact that I'm being really emotional. But yeah, anyway. 
I feel very uncomfortable about the fact that I just cried but I feel like I can't start this vlog over because everyone's gonna know that I've been crying because my eyes are so red so um yeah I'm excited for Christmas <laughs> is what i was trying to say even though this does not come across as excited in any way shape or form so yeah dementia sucks moving on i am gonna speed this up and do a little montage because one i want to focus on my makeup today because i felt like yesterday was really ropey and i wasn't happy with it and also i need to just sit with my feelings <laughs> and <laughs> deal with the embarrassment of the fact that i've just fully cried at you guys so cue the montage so i'm back um i also was thinking about like for context sorry why have i gone gone a bit of a funny okay there we go I'm aware that some of you here are new so <laughs> i really hope none of for none of you this is your first video watching because this is going to be really embarrassing for me i have talked about my name previously in the past but i'm not sure all of you will actually even know what I'm talking about. I literally just realized like I it, I didn't really intend on actually having this conversation. So <laughs> I'm aware that this is going to maybe need some context. Um, but for those of you who don't know, because I've talked about it a little bit in the past, my nan, her name is Sue, I love her. She has dementia and it has been going on for quite a few years now. Um, I think I first spotted the signs when I was like, I think I was at school um, she was quite young and um, she still is fairly young for a grandparent but um, I think last when did she go into the home last year like she she was at the point where my family couldn't care for her anymore but she was at the stage where she just needed professional help because otherwise like her life was basically a threat like she was going missing and like it was the winter and it was all quite worrying and um yeah she needs to be like in a very secure place and yeah she doesn't really know who anyone is uh when we go visit her like she'll show me my photos of me but like um she doesn't have recent photos she has like photos of me when i was younger and she comes up to me and shows me her and she's like she's so beautiful she has no idea who i am she doesn't know that that's me um she was just my favorite person growing up and at first it didn't really upset me so much for the past couple of years well ever since i just got that stupid card <laughs> It's just been really hard and I mentioned in a vlog earlier this year how sometimes I just cry for like whole days. The second something sets me off it's like you just have to not think about it because otherwise you'll spend the whole day doing this. Oh my god I just can't make it stop like how do you make it stop? Yeah I will never be mentioning her again on this channel because I can't live like this. Yeah just to give context that is um the situation with her um, and it's very I find it very jarring the fact that someone is still physically there but not it still feels like it still feels like grief in some weird way so my camera ran out of memory which is probably telling me to stop crying like a baby and get on with my day i honestly don't know why i even started talking about this because it's i hate crying i hate being sad i don't know that was really stupid of me so let's move on but yeah this is kind of what i mean when i talk about christmas being uh difficult like it's difficult in so many ways like there's lots of different family dynamics um but on top of that 
there's also that and I just find it super difficult now. Anyway, I am looking at some Gucci beauty blushes that I got sent because I need to put a blush on and I feel like this could be nice, like every, an everyday one. Um, they sent me quite a few colours and I need to put one on, so I'm going to pick one. I'm not sure. I feel like this could be nice because it's not too dark. Like this one's darker. I feel like that's too much. I did want something like super neutral, not too summery. I feel like that's too peachy. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm going to go with this one. I feel like this is a good a good option. But yeah, these blushes are just so gorgeous. Like the packaging is stunning. These would make a really lovely gift. Please focus, not on my face. Um, these would make a really lovely gift for someone. So I'm taking my NARS brush, which is my favorite blush brush, which has fluff on it. My mascaras. But today is just gonna be an R.O.P. mascara day, really, isn't it? Oh, sorry, I feel like I'm slurring my words because when I've been crying, I get very like, a blocked nose and I can't talk properly. So stupid, why did I start talking about that? Oh no, doom, doom. Mm. Yeah, I really like this blush actually. It feels so jarring to be going from bawling my eyes out about my nan to um, just talking about a blusher. But anyway, today we are going to do a little bit of office organisation because um, I really want to go back to working in my office and I need to just tackle the mess in that room so that I can actually work in it. So that is what we are going to do today and I know a lot of you love a little organization montage and we all enjoy me vlogging in the office because it's very pretty this might be my new favorite everyday blush that's so pretty like just i think because i'm wearing brown today as well it just ties in so nicely this is a skims body by the way one of the things on my agenda for the day is actually to buy some more of these skims bodies and i want to get high neck ones for the winter i've started wearing more like higher neck items recently and the reason i've bought them before and sent them back because i was like actually no i'm not going to wear these enough and they're like too high for me i prefer like a just a little high neck um, rather than a roll neck but i've actually been wearing a lot of roll necks lately and really enjoying it so i think it's time um, and I would actually love a brown one with the roll neck, especially because then I don't need to bronze my neck. Because that is like the bane of my existence right now, to be honest, is bronzing my neck, which needs doing desperately. That is my makeup done. Lovely. Let's go. Let's see what Mr. Hurley's doing in here. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Hungry Hurley is back. Back once again. He's back on his bullshit, guys. My ADHD's kicked in. <laughs> I'm obsessed with food again. <laughs> hey, I, I'm not complaining. <laughs> what is going on here? Trying to set up an overhead bird's eye view angle. Oh, wow. And you're making arancini balls today? Yes. If uh, you want to see the recipe, guys, it will be on the Hungry Hurley Instagram account. If I can He's buy the tripod out. Oh, you, no, you get there. You got this. <laughs> I have every faith in you. Um, so yeah, I am going to take my breakfast to the office. The office is getting a makeover today. Is it? I'm going to actually do the recycling and oh, wow. yeah, sort it all out. Ryan's like, thank God. Literally, it's the first room you see when you walk in the house and it is an absolute pigsty. Like there's makeup everywhere. I don't have enough space for everything. I've got to get it all ready because I've got a team call later and I need somewhere to sit. Yeah. I was not joking when I said it's an actual pigsty. Like, it just gets worse the more you look. See what I mean?
majority of beauty bits are back in the drawer. I've got some new bits out on the side to play with and decide whether I want to keep what I want to do with them. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the room of doom, Nala. What do you want? Do you need a cuddle? You're such a good girl. We've got a big bag full of things to give away. There were some foundations that were looking very ropey in the collection. This one's fine, it just definitely doesn't match my skin tone. Um, but yeah, there were a lot of bad foundations actually, I was surprised. I had a very big lipstick clear out because I've acquired so many new ones recently that I really love. Like these NARS ones, the matte ones are amazing. The power, the lip powers from Armani, I love. I've got some Armani liquid lips, Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lips, Gucci Beauty liquid lips. I really like all of them, but then I've obviously got my old favourites, like my MAC lipsticks, my Charlotte Tilbury ones, Vive, Tom Ford, so I had to have a big, like, condensed down because there were just so many. And my rule is, like, I'm not allowed to outgrow this drawer, like, I, it's, it has to be, like, cleared out and new stuff has to go in, but I am not allowed to just keep, like, adding makeup without... Um, taking it away so everything has to kind of semi fit in the containers I'm not just allowed to like fill it to the top this is the fullest it's allowed to get though it's, it can't be any more than this the foundations have actually been cleared out very nicely like this is probably the neatest it's looked in a long time mainly just the same suspects like lots of Armani luminous silks like back stocks of it and then back stocks of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation because someone told me it was being discontinued. Still don't know if that's true, but yeah. Then we've got concealers, like the NARS concealer, Vive concealers, like all the best ones. Then we've got new bits. So I've got some Soho Skin to try out. This packaging is really cool. Look at this. This is so cool. I love it. We've also got some Victoria Beckham Beauty, which I'm so excited to try. This is, I think this is a skincare product i can't remember off the top of my head cell rejuvenating priming moisturizer this looks so fancy i'm obsessed with the packaging like that tortoiseshell oh that is nice and then this is what the packaging looks like on the outside it's really chic actually i really like it if you know me you know i love a good tortoiseshell like even my hair clips that i use in the morning are tortoiseshell and then we've got liners apparently these are like some of the best bits from Victoria Beckham Beauty. So we've got a really gorgeous purple, which would be good on my brown eyes. And then we've got the classic black, and these are so creamy, like that pigment, like I barely touched my skin, that is crazy. And um, we've got this gorgeous highlighter, like in a stick form. Looks stunning, I'm very excited to try that. And then we've got some of the coal liners but in more like festive vibes i'm really excited about this look at this it's like a black glitter i feel like that would be so cool like blended out Ooh. i might have to give that a go at some point and then there are some more khaki kind of tones oh that's the wrong end look at that that is just stunning that would look so beautiful blended out as well i think so you can use them more as liners or you could blend them out. I think it'd be cool to blend them out and then do a concentrated amount across the lash line and have it all like smoky and beautiful. I'm also really excited to try this. This is from Jones Road, which is Bobbi Brown's makeup brand. There is this foundation that I'm so excited to test out. It's like a cream in a pot. Yeah, apparently this is a TikTok viral product it smells really nice actually okay a slight improvement just a little bit a little bit later and 
Your girl is not feeling good. <laughs> I'm really annoyed at myself. I have made it so far without getting sick this month and I just feel terrible. So I am going to take my makeup off. I'm going to have a shower or maybe a bath showers quicker get more done i'm gonna snuggle up and edit i'm gonna get an early night and i am going to see you tomorrow because <laughs> i am going to live to fight another day i don't know you know when your brain is starting to fog and you don't know what you're looking at anymore i'm like where is my cleanser I forgot what doing like vlogging months was like. I always, always, always used to get sick when I would do, especially vlogtober. I would get sick all the time. Good times, good times. I would check in with you guys tomorrow. My battery's flashing. Hmm. Camera's had enough too. I've just realized I've been talking to you and I have so much pasta all over this top. Like, it's not makeup, it's pasta sauce. That's not embarrassing at all. I might just delete this vlog and start again. This is so embarrassing. Wow. These look delicious. And then we have some pasta. Oh, this looks so nice and green. I've also made some garlic bread. Postman, like this. That's my pajamas on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Cool. He's going to think I'm insane. I am. Hello, everybody. I'm back. I'm alive. I am well. I'm feeling much better today. It's actually the afternoon. I have spent the morning doing a makeup tutorial, which I think has mostly been frozen off by the outside world because it is so cold. So I filmed this and then I got today's video ready to upload. Also, I've been talking really weird. I have just got back from my stupid mental health walk. I haven't actually left the house in a few days, so I was like, do you know what, I should probably go outside and like, it's good for you, you know, you never regret like getting a bit of exercise. Do you know what, I regretted it. I can't feel my face right now, it's so cold. And there was one point where I got to the end bit of my walk and the sun had dropped just a little bit too low and the walk was completely in the shade. And I stepped into it and I immediately started to get brain freeze, it was that, cold like i'll insert a clip the lake that i walk by frozen mostly frozen so i just got to this shady bit and i thought you know what no my mental health is fine i'm fine i'm i'm cured <laughs> don't need this it's crazy right now this is i've lived here for three years and that's the first time i've ever seen that lake frozen over um so i'm really looking forward to mine and ryan's date night tonight <laughs> looking forward to leaving the house we might actually become snowmen at this rate um, oh my god, my nose is running but I can't feel my face so I can't tell if I just am um, disgusting and I don't even realise it. I'm going to put my hair up because it is overdue hair wash day but um, Ryan's been cooking some stuff for his um, Instagram the past couple of days and my hair basically smells like roast potatoes so I decided I wasn't washing it until he was done with the recipes um, so I'm just going to slick it back. Go for a nice wavy ponytail. So this isn't really what I envisioned for my date night outfit, but it is just this cold that this is what I'm working with. I've got my and other stories jacket on. Uh, the same high neck that you saw me wearing earlier, I think, from and other stories also. And then I've got a pair of leggings on underneath this pair of 
Nanushka leather trousers. These ones are very similar to my Anina Bing ones, but they're a little bit baggier. And I thought that was perfect for layering um, a pair of leggings underneath. And then I've got my Chanel boots, because uh, it's very, very slippy at the moment. And I also wanted something fleece lined. So it was this or Uggs. And I thought this kind of just went a bit better with the outfit. That hence why I literally look like I'm going skiing, because I've got those and I've also got these um, earmuffs, which I actually bought for a makeup tutorial, the one that I filmed this morning, but I think they're gonna come in very handy. And then I've just got my Chanel bag because I can't be bothered to change my bag. So yeah, I look weird, but I'm gonna be warm and that's the most important thing right now. my body <laughs> wow <laughs> um should we go this way yeah. next on our date night on our way to Ooh. see on our way to see jack harlow <laughs> excuse me this is the Susie show oh, what are you doing no you can tell them on our way so, to see jack harlow we're not on our you keep getting it wrong so where are we going next on our date night extravaganza to see jack harlow no we're not brian keeps getting the name wrong and it's really upsetting me <laughs> we are going to see jack white Ooh and we're speedball kicking because we have about five minutes to get there but it was worth it for the fur oh also someone asked to see christmas lights in the comments so here you go here's some of the brighton christmas lights looking very cute and festive we don't really go all out in brighton it's not like london this is a work in progress that is a fancy way of saying that some of the jokes you hear tonight might be shit like as if the christmas lights are an alien this year guys like i hope the person that asked to see the christmas lights in brighton feels satisfied by this um but just know that i am not oh my god that was so good i feel like my makeup is probably looking like so ropey right now like i'm gonna die editing this back yeah i am i've got too much highlighter on today like i look i look mad and also i have cry laughed this evening so many times um but yeah i really needed that like laugh like honestly jack whitehall was just so funny and he had this girl on before him called laura smith and she was hilarious as well would highly recommend seeing um him if you can get any oh my god i'm sweating um if you can get onto any of the remaining tour dates it was it was so great i was editing this vlog before we came out uh so it's just like 20 minutes of me like on off crying so jack whitehall has made my evening i very much needed a laugh we had a great dinner as well didn't we i need a ticket to get oh on. no what oh no and dinner was great as well we went to pho pho I always got told you were meant to say it for, but I don't know if that's actually right. Um, but it was so, so yummy. The spicy green soup was delish. Uh, oh, I'm in the dark now. Really in the dark. Okay, fully dark, so I guess I'll see you when we get home. Love you, bye.